guys, it's Calvin Sanders. And I'm Angela Sanders. And welcome, welcome to, to the Vision Twins. kind of a dark way. It's a really dark story for me because I don't want anybody to do what I had to do because it's it can definitely be done without uh, self-harm. One day like at school I just decided like I woke up decided to starve myself for the whole day and I, I starved myself the whole day at school and I mean throughout the whole day I was just fighting the hunger. I didn't go get lunch from school. I didn't go get the free lunch. So I, I thought that starving myself would make me not hungry anymore. And I'm just here to tell you guys about my experience when I was 350 pounds. So it's kind of crazy to think about when I was that big. I didn't really know about self-love. I couldn't love myself. I was insecure about everything. Every time I'd go out, I felt like someone was like looking at me. Not necessarily looking at me, but just looking at me like, damn, that dude's big. Like, I was the big kid. I was 350 pounds. This was more of an insecure fat. Like, I was different from my brother. There's a skinny dude in this fat person body that I needed just to reach out, and that's who I am right now. That's why I feel like I can relate to you guys, because I wanted to, at some points, like, I hated myself. I really didn't want to wake up in the morning. I Me mean, eating was a habit. It was just something I did on the free time, and I realized I could catch myself doing that. Two years later, I'm like, dang, I really used to just eat out of nowhere. I just eat things just because it was there, you know, just because there was an extra burrito. Like, I was just eating it because I was hungry. You're not even hungry, but just, like, it was just bored. Like, it was just there. Like, there's extra carne out of fries. Why not eat it? Like, I have to have that self-control. And we're going to have this practice going on through the Vision Twins, and we want to bring you guys along. You know, there's a big difference in how you feel in your mental state, too. I don't recognize going around along every day being, like, feeling as the fat person in the room. experience being overweight growing up being 310 pounds was my highest weight it's really sentimental to me that my father he was an athlete man he was he's ripped it really kind of gave me an avenue to strive for to to be like him not exactly like him I feel like growing up I felt like I was always incrementally getting bigger I was big I was huge everybody referred to me and my brother as a fat kid it's not fun I feel like the world being big is not really made for us. if you struggle with your weight or you struggle being overweight then you can tell that Clothes don't really fit you as comfortably as you want them to. Um, you know, always gotta pick at your clothes, always getting wedgies, just walking out of nowhere, always having to pick your wedgies. You know, you know how, we you know what I'm talking about if you struggle with being overweight. That's how, that's what be, we, losing weight helped me, do, helped me to do with my own mind and to figure out the world for myself. Fatty, I run a 15 minute mile, 